Daisy, 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 Mark Jacobs. Hello and welcome to the TR Business 90 Second News Update. Here are this week's top stories. Dubai GT3 has revealed that revenue has fallen by $240 million since its shops closed on the 25th of March due to the coronavirus. Speaking to TR Business's Adapt and Survive Skype series, Carl McLaughlin said while he is unsure when Dubai GT3 shops will reopen, he expects them to be closed for at least another month. Heinemann has revealed details of a comprehensive set of measures to slash costs and preserve liquidity amid the COVID-19 crisis. In a status update, Heinemann acknowledges the significant financial challenges owing to the decimation of global travel retail. It has reduced its personnel costs by adopting a short-time working directive alongside postponing capital expenditure and operating expenses, among other things. Sydney Airport is working closely with its aeronautical and commercial partners and tenants to reach outcomes that represent a fair and equitable sharing of the pain during COVID-19. The announcement follows the recent release of a code of conduct by the Australian government designed to provide relief for commercial and retail tenants across the country. And finally, the design solution has been appointed by Beijing Capital International Airport to redevelop and plan the commercial footprint at Terminal 3's International Departure Lounge. The London-based retail architecture and design practice will embark on a bold reconfiguration of the so-called Dragon Terminal, which opened in 2008. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.